The Open Educational Resources, OER, movement has celebrated 10 years of its mission toward opening up access to knowledge for all. During this next decade, we believe that the focus of the OER movement will move beyond the provision of open content to include open construction. Knowledge is created in a constructive process, so our understanding of OER should include not only teaching and learning materials shared under open licenses, but also open technologies, open methodologies for transparent building and sharing of OER as knowledge. Open Educational Resources and Social Networks, a book created by the Open Research Network CoLearn, highlights different ways of reusing, recreating, remixing, and redistributing knowledge. Our aims are to provide readers new opportunities for enriching collaborative open learning, co-learning, by constructing knowledge together through social networking and co-authorship. This book draws upon three key features of cyber culture, participatory media, commons-based peer production, and mass collaboration. Through open channels, authors and readers can convey their views by sharing questions, information, tools, practices, methods, productions, and reflections. Social media was used in the enterprise of creating this book for bringing research groups together for co-authorship, discussing openness philosophy and co-designing of OER, reflecting and collaboratively describing technologies for co-creating content as OER, creating and publishing collaboratively with readers open multimedia resources, which can be reused, readapted, remixed, and redistributed by anyone, collecting open data to analyze and review participants' contributions and productions, developing and disseminating open educational research based on the processes, technologies, and networking used to produce this book. We invite academic institutions and readers to participate in this book as co-authors or co-editors by contributing to new versions of chapters, new process of construction and design, new open media resources, as well as new editions of this volume. And the pedagogy of oppressed knowledge is not a question to transmit. And if you need to think in ways that people can create the knowledge on their own. So then we start to create image, video, and map, and we command the community, they create the chapter, and we are planning to uh, publish this book in different formats. It would be on the web, PDF, print, uh, EPUB, Kindle, and also in Amazon, uh, in different languages. So to summarize lessons learned, uh, we'd like to stress this concept of co-learning, that is exactly learning together in different open ways through social networks and shared culture. Where I am learning with my colleagues that I want to bring them to my social network. And I'm also, they are learning with me. We are learning together. The Tool Library is a social network environment that helps connect content, tools, people, and their experiences and recommendations about reusing open educational resources. Pretending that this proliferation of information and knowledge doesn't exist just isn't an option. Um, but learning how to swim within it is, learning how to create a flow that copes with this uh, is the, really the only way uh, that we can deal with it. Um, in addition, uh, much like I think what's happened in uh, the digital music uh, culture, um, we're at the edge of a sea change in how we interact with information. Um, there where you had the creation of whole new sets of devices and ways that you could sort of haptically uh, in interact with, with music uh, and, and turn sort of digital instruments into actual performance instruments. The same is starting to happen with, with knowledge and information. What does it mean to be human if we don't have a shared culture? And what does a shared culture mean if you can't share it? It's only in the last 100 or 150 years or so that we've started tightly restricting how that culture gets used. The internet enabled an infrastructure where anybody could participate without asking permission.
how can we participate in this movement. In research, you can have this concept of the wisdom of the crowds, where I know something and you know something, someone else knows something different. When you bring this together, the three of you can know more or learn more than you could individually. Synergia. Intelligenza collettiva.